So that was our, our basic online stance, which is generally our later 18th century, as I say, or what you might call single sword uh, at this level. So last night we looked very, very briefly with the, uh, the dagger, the rapier and the dagger. So this is a much earlier 16th into the 17th century style of fighting. So even if I use my, my little line on the floor as my example, whereas last time I was heels in line, this time I'm going to open my gate up a little bit. This is what we call an open guard or a neutral stance. Do you want to swing around this way for me, Scott? Because I tend to, with rapier rape and dagger, we very often we start with our left foot forward. So, my feet, my, my lead foot is still pointing forward. My rear foot is still pointing off pretty much 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. That's not a problem. What I don't want though is your feet doing this. We still need to be facing forward, hips, lips, and lips. And it's much, much easier this way. As I mentioned last night, if you're struggling with your, your inline, you know, you're struggling not to turn your body like this, I don't mind if you want to adopt a slightly wider stance, very similar to what we're going to be doing with rapier and dagger. So again, 50-50 weight distribution, bend your knees, again remember the war pig, we're sat on our war pig. Hips, nips and lips facing forward, sword, not dissimilar to the last time, but we can afford to go a little bit wider out. And we're going to mirror that with our dagger. So we've still got our, our shoulders down and back, head high, chest up, we're just nice and relaxed and the points are facing forward, threatening. That's pretty much it. Do you want to do a little circle again, just so people can see it? Fantastic.